Do you have a 90% VA disability rating and you're trying to figure out how do I get it to 100%? I'm so close. When you have a 90% VA disability rating, you need to figure out what that is using the combined ratings table. So it's 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, round it up to 90, or 91, 92, 93, 94, Round it down to 90. Points matter. Every 10% equals one point when you're in the 90s. There's lots of ways to do this. This is your claim. We're going to use an example here. You know, whatever works for you. I'm just showing you this example. There's going to be some things on here that, um, you know, you probably are aware of. And maybe you have these low ball ratings or something like that. So if you enjoy this kind of content, hit the thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share, all that good fun stuff. And uh, let's get into increasing your 90% VA disability rating. First, let's talk about TDIU. That's always a good option if you're at 90% and any of your service-connected disabilities prevent you from working. So the way this works is you need to have one disability rated at 60 or you need to have a 70% rating and one of those needs to be at least 40. I'm showing this because this is a 90% overall rating and the highest single rating is 20. So you do not meet um, scheduler requirements for TDIU in this case. If this is you and it looks like you, you can't go TDIU scheduler route. In this case, I see two easy ways to go. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. And um, you don't even need to worry about TDIU. You'll win this, no problem. You'll be 100% scheduler. You can work all you want on TDIU. If you're in a protected work environment, that means the working for yourself, you're not a W-2 employee. That's a hard argument to make. I want to point out that there's a lot of ratings on here that are, you know, 10s and 20s. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff on, you know, the left side and the right side of the body and above the waist and below the waist. Um, this guy has a very high bilateral factor, and um, that's why this rating is so high. Uh, normally, when you have a bunch of 10s and 20s, you end up like 80, but this guy's got all the bilateral factor goodness going for him. There are two times when you don't need a nexus. When you file a claim while you're still on active duty, like a BDD claim, or when you're in the one-year presumptive period. Any other time, you need a nexus. You also need a strategy. Check out my boot camp and contact my med team if you need a nexus. All right, so on the first page here, we got the 90% rating. Scrolling down, first thing that you know registers is GERD. So do you have the symptoms to warrant a 30 or a 60% rating, thus you know, filing for an increase? And if not, I would leave this alone and leave it at 10. So if you have the symptoms, that might be worth going for. Even at 30%, going from 10 to 30, you're gonna get two points. I probably would just leave GERD alone, period. Now the 0% for headaches, this is very interesting to me. So your service connected for headaches at 0%. So if your headaches, doesn't matter what the name of them are, you have a rating for headaches, it's all of them. Tension, migraines, and all the rest of them they rate. So if your headaches cause you to lay down more than once a week, and this happens uncontrollably, obviously, at work, it's severe economic inadaptability. You can prove it, get a migraine log, use migraine buddy. You're gonna need a doctor as well. Um, this is going to take you from 0% to 50%. So this is five points. When you're at 90%, each 10% is worth one. So should be 50%, but it's gonna get you five points. Scrolling down, scrolling down on page two here, 10% for combat PTSD. This is a ridiculous rating. If you've watched my videos at all, I hate seeing low uh, combat PTSD ratings. This needs to be at 70%. So five for migraines, and then you're gonna go from 10 to 70, and you're gonna pick up six more points. So that's a total of 11 points. No matter where you are in the 90s, 11 points gets you to 95%. VA only rounds up and down using whole numbers. You need to get to 95. This gets you into the hundo club with these two claims. So how do you go about doing this? Like I said, you already have the diagnosis in the Nexus 1, your service connected, so you don't need to work on that. This is all about the severity of your symptoms. So you're going to need 
two doctors for this. Your doctor, whatever, hire a doctor, whatever you need to do. If your doctor or you don't know where to hire one, hit me up on my med team. Also, if you want to talk about something like this, um, join me on one of my live sessions in my boot camp. Links in the description for both. And you're going to need two doctors. So the first one is just a regular MD kind of doctor. Those are who's qualified to talk about pretty much everything except for mental health. So you need an MD doctor and you need them to fill out a DBQ or an independent medical opinion explaining how your headaches are prostrating and make you lay down once a week and how you deserve a 50% rating. The next doctor you're going to is a board certified psychologist or a board certified psychiatrist write meds, they're qualified to do it, but it'll most likely be a psychologist. And that's who you're gonna have work on your mental health. Combat PTSD is a mental health rating. So you need them to fill out an independent medical opinion or a DBQ or whatever they're comfortable doing and say, yeah, 10% combat PTSD, he's not there. He's here at 70%. So you're gonna have two doctors, you're gonna have two medical opinions from different doctors. They don't cross over. Even if like the guy's an MD and a shrink, I would just get two doctors, just whatever, pay the money, get it, whatever you got to do. And then you're going to file a claim for an increase. You're already rated. You're not challenging this. So you don't need a supplemental claim. This is a new claim for an increase. Submit your uh, independent medical opinions, write a personal statement. My migraines are like this. Here's my migraine log. My PTSD symptoms are like this. And then, you know, basically let the doctor do the talking for you. And that's it. File the claim. 11 points. You're done. This is how you go from 90% to 100%. This is a good example. Now, let's say you don't get all the way up there. Let's say you end up at 94%. Maybe you get ripped off and you get, you know, whatever. You get 30 for migraines and you only get 50 for um, PTSD and you only, you don't go up high enough. You'll, you'll go up like to 94%. Then you would meet the requirements for scheduler TDIU. And then you could actually take a look at TDIU. But again, I would probably challenge that this time. It would be a supplemental claim because you're arguing with the decision. Um, so a couple different options for you. Happy hunting out there. And I'll see you in the next video.